vegetables! <laughs> Actually, you're not really vegan. You are someone who simply eats plants. We call that a plant-based person. A real vegan is somebody who defends animals all the time and talks about their exploitation. Actually, you're not really vegan. You are someone who simply eats plants. We call that a plant-based person. A real vegan is somebody who defends animals all the time. <laughs> no. Before I get started, I'm just gonna say I don't have any issues with veganism, whether you're doing it for nutrition reasons, moral reasons, environmental reasons, whatever. As far as I can tell, there is no societal understanding that says that in order to be a vegan, not only do you not have to eat or use animals or animal byproducts, but you also have to be an animal rights activist or actively try to convert people to veganism. And like I said before, I don't have any issue with vegans in general. But I think that the unnecessary gatekeeping that she's doing not only in this video, but many of her other videos is doing more harm to her cause than it is good. She's also used her platform around veganism to tell people to change religions, and honestly, that's just messed up. There are so many videos of hers that I want to respond to, so stay tuned. Dear John, thank you so much for mansplaining to us, female animal rights activists, what the definition of veganism is. Coming from a carnist like you, golly gee, that sure means a lot. But you know, we saw the definition differently than you did. We see the vegan society definition as encouraging us to speak out for the victims at all times. We also happen, by the way, to speak out on the rights of all minorities, the LGBTQ plus community, and against all racism, among tons of other things. So, I invite you to think about the female cows who are raped, and their baby boys taken away and murdered, and their baby girls put back into the cycle of violence just so you can have some milk in your coffee. Why not be better? Be vegan. John, thank you so much for mansplaining to us, female animal rights activists, what the definition of veganism is. Coming from a carnist like you, golly gee, that sure means a lot. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. First of all, me educating my followers about what the actual definition of veganism is, is not mansplaining to female animal rights activists. And you can use the Vegan Society's definition of veganism to include philosophy, lifestyle activism, all you want. That's your choice. But simply speaking, there's lots of ways to be vegan. And until society in general decides to include those pieces into the definition of veganism, I'm not going to either. And one last thing. You used graphic imagery to describe how I get the milk to put in my coffee, but I don't drink coffee anymore. And when I did, I drank it black. Peace out. Ah uh, yes, here come the carnist feminists ready to defend the men as they pile on the death and all the torture of all the other females in the system. Cows, pigs, chickens, you don't give a shit about them, do you? You're also wrong about the definition of mansplaining. Here it is according to Wikipedia. And you can look at all of these nice stickers from PETA while I read it. Mansplaining is a pejorative term meaning to comment on or explain something to a woman in a condescending, overconfident, and often inaccurate or oversimplified manner. Author Rebecca Solnit ascribed the phenomenon to a combination of overconfidence and cluelessness, which is exactly what John had. He didn't know the definition, and he's just, like all of you, terrified of veganism and unwilling to change your own habits while pretending you care about the minorities. Be better. Be vegan. Ah, uh, yes. Here come the carnist feminists, ready to defend the men. So as you can see here, she responded to my friend Ashley's comment. And I have to say, I'm a little offended she didn't respond to my well-thought-out comment with the most number of likes, where I said, LOL. <laughs> but let's hear how she responds to Ashley saying that I wasn't mansplaining. Roll clip. You're also wrong about the definition of mansplaining. Here it is according to Wikipedia. And you can look at all of these nice stickers from PETA while I read it. Mansplaining is a pejorative term meaning to comment on or explain something to a woman in a condescending, overconfident, and often inaccurate or oversimplified manner. Okay, maybe I was inaccurate. Let's go to the dictionary definition of vegan. A strict vegetarian who consumes no food that comes from animals. Also one who abstains from using animal products. Hmm, seems like you were the only person being inaccurate. Bye. Dear John. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. The way you talk about and describe consent. Now let's examine it. They cannot consent. That is sexual assault. You are absolutely right. The bulls do not consent to be masturbated and have their sperm taken from them. The cows do not consent to have this sperm inserted into them. You know, I typically ignore when people do crap like this with the videos I make or the words that I say, but I will not ignore it this time. 
I have made so many videos educating my followers about why consent is so important. And for you to make a mockery of consent by comparing how we as humans interact with each other in a safe and productive way to breeding animals is shameful. And posting videos like that just makes it so much harder for us to talk about consent and have people take it seriously. You need to apologize to every adult and child whose experience with sexual assault you just compared to breeding animals. And think before you speak. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. Except, your trigger warning was complete bullshit. Unless you give your audience a full 10 seconds to think about what you just said and swipe you away before you bombard them with information that's going to hurt them, it's completely useless. I would be like me saying, catch, and I throw this ball at you before giving you a chance to put up your hands. You understand? I know it's hard for you to be quiet, John. But next time you give a trigger warning, wait a full 10 seconds before you speak. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. Count to 10, John, and consider this to be a trigger warning for you. Because if you think that consent applies to humans and not animals, you need to come back to ethics class. Watch Earthlings, Dominion Movement, and Cowspiracy before you respond to this video. Be better. Be vegan. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. Except. Your trigger warning was complete bullshit. Unless you give your audience a full 10 seconds to think about what you just said and swipe you away before you bombard them with information that's going to hurt them, it's completely useless. I would be like me saying, catch, and I throw this ball at you before giving you a chance to put up your hands. You know, I am actually impressed. You managed to make people think that your analogies are even stupider than they did before. But I'm glad you're taking such an interest in trigger warnings considering you didn't put one on your video. And you made another video saying that I don't understand what consent is. But here's the deal. When you bastardized the term consent to include animals that are being bred, you diminished the experiences of so many survivors of sexual assault and violence. So perhaps it's time for you to stop being the teacher and for you to be the student. See you on the flip side. Or not. I don't really care. You can easily change your religion. Just walk from a church into another building. Or from a mosque into another building. So depending on how long you've been following me, you may or may not know that I'm actually a very religious person. And this isn't the first video that she's talked about this subject where she said, change your religion, why not be an atheist every Sunday? And let me first say, what she's doing is completely irresponsible. Oh, and completely ignorant. Don't forget that part. Because anybody who even knows the slightest bit about religion knows that it's not determined by what building you go to on your day of worship. It's determined by what you believe. Quite honestly, I would say the things she said about religion are embarrassingly stupid if I didn't think they were also dangerous. Because some young viewers without understanding any historical context of religion may look up and find animal sacrifices and now think that their religion advocates for hurting animals and that they need to convert. So vegan teacher, stop talking about religion because you clearly know nothing about it. Religion is based on fairy tales. Books that were written hundreds and thousands of years ago. They're not based on science. They have all kinds of crazy things in them. So there's a lot of things that she said that were deeply offensive to religious people, including myself. So let's get started. There's about 10,000 different religions in this world coming from all different types of backgrounds. And for you to say that religion itself is based on fairy tales is just intellectually dishonest. And the young impressionable viewers that are seeing that still probably aren't going to become vegan. All you're doing is creating confusion and casting doubt on what is for some of these viewers one of the most important aspects of their lives. And you brought up the commandment, thou shalt not kill, to promote veganism. And I'm very excited to educate you about how you were misinterpreting the original Hebrew and ignoring all historical context. But I don't have time for that in this video, so it'll have to wait. Bye bye Actually a very religious person. Yes, God. Yes, I told you a million times. I'll sing it for him. Yes, on TikTok. Okay, bye. I'm actually a very religious person. John Robert Bell, you'd go and straight to hell. God said so, and he should know. He said you're mean. Cause you'd rather pay for someone to kill a baby cow than to eat some tofu and a bean. I'm actually a very religious person. John Robert Bell, you're going straight to hell. God said so, and he should know. He said you're a big old bully, yo. Cause you'd rather pay for the violation, enslavement, and murder of innocent females instead of buying some lentils and a potato. What she's doing is completely irresponsible. But John Robert Bell, you can still see the light. Watch earthlings.com and you can become vegan tonight. John Robert Bell, you're going straight to hell. God said so and he should know. He said you're a big old bully, yo. Cause you'd rather pay for the violation and slam and murder of innocent females instead of buying some lentils and a potato. You know, vegan teacher, I would like to thank you for proving to all of us once and for all that you are not interested at all about converting other people to veganism. You are only interested in shaming those who aren't. 
That time that you spent writing a song about how I'm going to hell for eating meat could have been spent actually educating others about your cause. But instead, you knew that I was deeply religious, and so you personally attacked me. Now it's time for me to be the teacher, Karen. You do not get to say that you stand for equality and then go around and bash people for their religion. You are nothing more than a performative provocateur who is willing to say anything, even if it hurts your cause, just to get views. I truly hope that you understand the damage you have done to the vegan community at large. But you know what? I'll be praying for you. I am not a religious teacher. I am not interested in religion. I am interested in doing what religion is supposed to do, which is to help people to be good. Religion is not doing its job. Otherwise, every single church, mosque, and every other religious building under their roof, there would never be any dead corpses that are being served. But that's not what's happening, is it? They go and pray to God, and then they stab animals with their forks and laugh during their potlucks. It's really amazing to me. People need to understand what it's like to be the victim and stop hurting these poor innocent animals. Please learn about what's going on so you can understand why I'm here. I am not a religious teacher. I am not interested in religion. I am interested in doing what religion is supposed to do, which is to help people to be good. You know, last time I checked, being good includes respecting other people's faith practices. This you? <laughs> John Robert Bell in his, his video, he just said that he's going to pray for me. He's going to pray and he's such... But that video either got taken down or you realized how disrespectful it was, so you removed it yourself. So let's do a different one. John Robert Bell, you're going straight to hell. Right, because telling someone they're going straight to hell is also being good? See, I actually respond to the things that you say in your videos, but when you respond to me, you just attack me for being religious. Which in return offends a lot of other religious people too. So how about when you say you're not a religious teacher, you really internalize it and stop talking about it. Oh, and Karen, be better. You are not interested at all about converting other people to veganism. You are only interested in shaming those who aren't. John Robert Bell, you're going straight to heaven. All you have to do is be better and be vegan. Being religious ain't gonna get you in. You gotta stop paying for the murder of innocent animals, because that's just mean. And it's also a sin. John Robert Bell, when you get to that pearly gate, you're gonna have to actually graduate. You're gonna have to prove that you were a good guy. So be better, be vegan, watch Earthlings and Dominion, and God will give you wings to the sky. Warning, there will be no trigger warning for this video. But let me ask you this. What kind of a warning do you think that my vegan students here on TikTok deserve before they walk into cafeterias and see dead bodies all over the tables? What kind of a trigger warning do we give children when they are outside playing at recess and suddenly they notice the child beside them wearing a Canada goose coat and they know how much suffering went into that coat? What kind of a warning can we possibly give sensitive vegan children who actually give a shit but who have to go through life surrounded by zombies who are not only their parents and teachers and classmates but also here on TikTok and who give them nothing but abuse. She is now trying to change the subject. Hi John. I'm not actually trying to change the subject at all. I'm interested in discussing all of these things with you because they really do matter. I think what you and I have in common is that we both want to make the world a better place and we both really care about suffering and trying to eliminate that. Would you agree? So if that's the case, then I invite you to think about all of the animals and how they are similar to humans. They are sentient beings just like us. They feel like us. They have families like us. They don't want to be harmed. So how can we work together to help each other to make this world better here on TikTok and out there? What do you think? Can you consider veganism? I'm trying to deliver your message. I know! I know, but I was just about to turn the camera on and then the devil came and broke my zipper! What the fuck do I do? Okay. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Hold on. If you want to get to heaven, be better be vegan. If you want to get to heaven, be better be vegan. If you don't believe me, do you want to bet? Hmm? Because God has a message for you, and here it is. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? Hmm? Be 
better be vegan. Okay. Yeah, it worked. Sort of. I don't know. Okay. Free vegan food? I'm coming right away. If you want to get to heaven, you better be vegan. If you want to get to heaven, you better be vegan. If you don't believe me, do you want to bet? Hmm? Because God has a message for you. And here it is. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? <laughs> Let's talk about it. First of all, there is no religion that believes in the existence of heaven that I'm aware of that requires veganism for salvation. Now, she did tag me in the video for some reason, so maybe she was directing it at me, a Christian. And in that case, I can say for certain that there is no biblical support to say that non-vegans are not going to heaven. So Karen, as a teacher, how about you stop scaring young children by telling them that they're going to go to hell for not being vegan? Oh, and Karen, piece of advice. Stop talking about religion because every time you do, you embarrass yourself. Be better. Good morning, students. Today we're going to continue our series about cognitive dissonance and hypocrisy, and especially as it applies to this gentleman here on TikTok whose name is John Robert Bell. Now, to be fair, John does a lot of good for TikTok. He stands up against the bullies, and that's an amazing thing. However, he also does some body shaming that he's not yet aware of. You see, every time that John takes out his wallet and pays somebody to murder somebody else just because they look different, or just because their level of intellect is not the same as ours, means that he is not doing the best that he can. It's not okay to pay people to murder innocent animals just because they have four legs or because they look different than us. Chickens, cows, pigs, lambs, they all deserve a right to live. So, in that regard, be better than John. Be better and be vegan. Good morning, students. Today we're going to continue our series about cognitive dissonance and hypocrisy, and especially as it applies to this gentleman here on TikTok whose name is John Robert Bell. That's me. Now, to be fair, John does a lot of good for TikTok. Thank he you. stands up against the bullies, and that's an amazing thing. Thank you. However, he also does some body shaming that he's not yet aware of. So she goes on in the video by saying that I body shame animals for having four legs because I eat meat. I honestly don't think I've ever been more convinced that her account is satire than now. So, other than the fact that she's totally undermining the entire discussion we're having on TikTok about body shaming, this isn't actually the first time she's done this. In one of my rants, I exposed her for doing the same thing with the term consent. When you bastardized the term consent to include animals that are being bred, you diminished the experiences of so many survivors of sexual assault and violence. See? I did say that. So be better. And be vegan or not. It's your choice.